Hi, great to see you. If that's the first time you're on my channel, I'm Anastasia. I'm a luxury bag lover, addict, and collector. And I also own a consignment store and you can check out the link below to see what's available right now. In this video, I'm gonna compare two Never Fools from Louis Vuitton. If you're kind of hesitant on which to buy, Monogram or Epi, um, I'm gonna compare them and let's see the differences, uh, let's see the uh, pros and cons of every material. And in the end of this video, you will be able to make a choice. First point, if you're watching this video, you probably consider buying a Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. And uh, I wanna tell you that's a great choice as a first luxury bag or as a first luxury bag from Louis Vuitton because it's been released in 2007 and no one believed it will last. However, we still see them on the streets and that's one of the uh, one of Louis Vuitton best sellers and one of the most iconic pieces that you can imagine from Louis Vuitton. A never full MM in canvas would be a great everyday bag because uh, as you may know, the canvas is one of the best materials. It's not leather, so it's very firm, it keeps the shape, it looks very good. It's almost impossible to rub it and uh, never full is a bag that it's not uh, prone to um, cracks or any type of issues that Louis Vuitton bags are facing recently more and more and more. So overall, if you're looking for a first designer luxury bag, Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM is great. However, here's one thing I don't like about Monogram Neverfull and that's Vachetta. These are these leather pieces, the upper trim and the handles and the uh, side trim as well. Because, well, as you may see, uh, they, there are uh, many types of people. I know that someone loves uh, the look of aged Vachetta and uh, there are also people who uh, would like to keep their bags nice and clean as, as if they, they purchased it yesterday, right? Overall, I'm not a fan of aged Vachetta. I don't love the looks of it. If you're buying a brand new bag, if you're purchasing a Neverfull or any other monogram bag with uh, Vachetta trims from Louis Vuitton, then it will require some extra maintenance. It will require some special care products like Apple Guard or any other care product that you can imagine. Well, uh, that's a bag that if, if you are using it, you will have to think every day, what is it raining outside? Is it snowing outside? Can I take my bag outside to enjoy it? I don't like this idea. I love wearing my bag whenever I want it, uh, whenever I want to take it, right? Well, that's actually my bag. That's not a bag I'm selling. Uh, I've never thought I would be a fan of never fool, but uh, I here I am, right? I would love to purchase a Damier Eben version because it doesn't require some this special care and maintenance. And here's an Epi leather never fool, and let's see the differences. The first one is weight. Whenever you compare the two bags, this is much more lightweight guys and then if canvas is thin and you can feel it right and it's more lightweight then the leather the epi leather is not that thin it's much thicker and you can do the things that you can do with a monogram version right um it keeps the shape pretty good but uh i can tell the same about the monogram version as well um and that's one of the most popular Louis Vuitton Neverfull colors because everyone's looking for black. No one loves to pay special attention to their bags. Well, unless that's your first designer bag and you want to take special care of it and you want it to last. But overall, I think we all prefer a bag that uh, doesn't require special care. Correct me if I'm wrong and uh, share your thoughts and comments. But uh, here's what I think. If I always need to think whether I can take my bag outside or whether I should buy some special care product to restore its appearance, 
then uh, I tend to wear it less. I take it out less and uh, it ends up sitting in my closet. There's nothing happening to this bag. I forget about it. And well, we girls, we need a new bag every other season, right? And there is a new season and you fall in love with a new bag and the old bag keeps sitting in the dust bag. Then you end up selling it. Here's how it works with me. And share your thoughts and uh, maybe you prefer the bags that require some attention and uh, well, you need to take care of. But let's get back to the Neverfull. I love it, the leather. I wanna tell you because it almost doesn't have any wear on it. This is a pre-loved bag and the only wear it has, well, is here, right? Well, if you can see, there is a um, wrinkle, leather wrinkle here, and that's it. And maybe a few, few issues here, but uh, they are very, very small. And well, you, it doesn't spoil. It doesn't make the bag look bad, right? Um, the corners are fine. It still looks great. The color is nice, and you don't need to do anything. You just uh, put your stuff inside and take it out whenever you want to. Overall, if you ask me, I would prefer the Epi Neverfull, definitely. Uh, especially in black. I, I also had one in pink and in, in rose ballerine and I still regret selling it because that was one of the best bags I've ever had. And this type of powder pink, baby pink, it was good with, with almost anything. I mean, with blacks, with greens, with any, any, any colors. But here's the thing. Um, there's also price difference, right? Between the canvas version and the epi leather version. And it's almost 500, I guess it's more than 500. The prices have gone up last week in Louis Vuitton, but uh, I guess it's more or less 500, 600. So it's, it's a lot, right? And, um, what I would recommend, if you still prefer um, a more recognizable version and you, and it's important to you to be seen on the streets, that there's nothing to be ashamed of, right? Here's what I recommend. If you still want the bag to be recognizable, if you want to be seen on the streets and there's nothing to be ashamed of, sometimes it is important for you, especially if that's your first designer piece. I would re really recommend purchasing a Dombier event version uh, of Neverfull MM because it is recognizable, not that recognizable as the classic monogram, but it's still you will have much less um, overhead with this bag. If you still prefer classic monogram, then there are two ways. Either you're buying it from the boutique or are you buying it pre-loved? And uh, if you're buying straight from Louis Vuitton, I would really recommend you to also purchase some leather care products, right? To spray the uh, bachetta parts of the bag to keep them nice, uh, they, they will last much longer and the patina will be uh, more even uh, on the bag. And if you're buying it pre-loved, well, you can save a lot. You can save up to 50% of the bag's price. Um, it's usually more, but never full, as you may imagine, uh, is a very popular style. So everyone is looking for it. And um, well, you can find a never full in, say in, in this condition for about 700, um, 750, 800, well, approximately. Sometimes it's cheaper, but you have to search and wait for the deals. Um, if you have some extra money and you want a bag that would last and uh, that would not show wear for a very lo long period of time, I would recommend you to purchase the Epi Leather Neverfull. Uh, choose the color that you want. LV has a great variety of uh, Epi Leather colors, so you, you can actually find a Neverfull in any color that you prefer. That's another um, advantage compared to a monogram or other canvas materials. Someone asked me if there is any recommendation on epi leather. Should you protect the leather? What types of care products do you use with epi? Um, I don't use anything. I just uh, tell myself that I have to be careful um, because careful, especially with the, the upper leather trim, because that's the most vulnerable part of the bag. 
and also careful with the uh, corners because once they are scratched it will be hard to repair them um, LV won't repair epi leather and uh, if you take them to a local cobbler um, they will paint the corners and uh, it will be less visible the, the wear I mean if the corners are scratched but uh, still it will not look brand new and uh, if you take the bag well if you if you watch them closely you will see that uh, it's been repaired which is not not nice so be careful and there's almost nothing that can happen with uh, to an epi leather neverfull however here's one important point i know that some neverfulls released during 2013 2014 they do have a defect and the uh, glazing on the handles is melting um after some time so if you are buying a pre-loved bag watch for this and ask the seller uh, what what year is the bag does it have some kind of glazing issue right because that's one of the worst thing that a bag can do uh, if you have it on your shoulder it can leave a stain from the glazing on your blouse and no one needs that right however if you're purchasing straight from the boutique there are no issues where well, as far as i know the bag is fine all right guys that's it and uh, i really hope it was useful if you liked the video like it and subscribe to the channel and also check out our consignment store to see what's available by the way this never full is for sale so if you want if you've been looking for an epi leather black never full then uh, you have it and you have an opportunity to buy it thank you for watching enjoy the show subscribe to the channel and have a great week Oh, 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 oh.